Hello everybody, this is Moduli Stack, and welcome to game three of the Overmind. Now this is going to focus a little bit more on the process that the Overmind went through leading up to the tournament. This is the playtesting phase, so this is a point where the Overmind had a lot of the basic mechanics worked out, but there were still some bugs, there was still some weird behavior, and we were basically playing a lot of games to identify a lot of these things and trying things out. You know, somebody would say, how well does the Overmind do against carriers? And so we would try that. So this is one of the playtesting games. And the playtester is none other than, as the Red Protoss in the upper right, Xterms, also known as Oreo Vignals, who appeared in the Ars Technica article, so you may have heard of him. He has been getting a bunch of email lately. Big hearts out to all of the Oreo Vignals fans. But he is just my roommate to me, so... Hard for me to think of him as a celebrity. Nevertheless, he is a really, really solid Brood War player. He has not played a lot of StarCraft 1 lately. He has not even played a lot of StarCraft 2 lately. But you'll see his mechanics are very solid, and his game sense is quite solid as well. And he's going to do some cool bits of micro, I think, in this game. But mainly he is going to be trying to confuse or otherwise screw up the Overmind and identify weird mistakes. There's that spawning pool going down at the expected time on 9 after the Overlord. By the way, I, I didn't point it out, but Xterms, he actually had higher APM than the computer uh, <laughs> during the early stages of the game, so I think that's pretty cool. Looks like we have a gateway going down here, and ooh, second gateway, so... We're going to see some early zealots. No gas has gone down yet. And basically the way this works is that if you put down two gateways, you can't really afford to produce out of them and get a cybernetic score right away. So you only see this when Protoss is planning for some very early aggression. And there's that first zealot. You have nothing going on for the Zerg. Ooh. Um, what are you all trying to harass with this probe? But... Trying to out-micro a computer is probably not that easy. In the meantime, where is Sparky the Wonder Drone? Just kind of checking things out. Hasn't given X-Terms too hard of a time. Pylon on the way, a little bit late, a little bit late. But we're probably going to see two more Zealots coming out of here, and uh, another probe. There we are. And the gas has gone down. So even though that pylon was late, still still a pretty smooth build order here from X terms. Uh, six Zerglings are on the way. There will be, let's see, there will be three Zealots out in time to deal with these. So shouldn't be too much of a problem. Easy to clog this area here with those three Zealots, although you do have to position them well. Much harder to do this in Brood War than in StarCraft II. Oh no, this one Zergling does slip up, and uh, yeah, he's going to let too many of these Zerglings into his base, although several of them do get killed. And um, nice probe micro there, taking some hit points off of that zero. And they're just going to run around. And this is very hard to react to properly if you're not used to playing computers because humans will almost always just keep their zerglings together and move them together. But you see they are uh, acting independently here and both doing a pretty good job staying out of threatening range. Although this one having some weird pathing issues and getting killed. And this one just kind of sitting for some reason, not moving quite as fast as we would usually like to see. Um, Xterms has begun collecting his gas, though. Zealot chasing away Sparky, and he's going to move out very quickly here with four Zealots. Now, what do we see for the Overmind? Absolutely no defense whatsoever. Just getting up this expansion. Probably this is going to be a very fast creep colony. And so he's going to have... Well, the problem is... He's not going to have a sunken in time, and he only has these two Zerglings out, I think. So that is really problematic for this many Zealots this early. And I might even say that this kind of push could end the game. Um, the Creep Colony, the Creep, I almost called it a Creep Tumor again. Uh, the Creep Colony is out. Uh, is only now getting morphed into a sunken. So you can see that the Overmind had sort of a poor reaction there, even though the Overmind did scout those Zealots moving out of the base. Really good Overlord positioning. Of course, it will not be so good once the Dragoons come out. But even though the Overmind didn't know about that, didn't react properly. And Oriol is pulling back because, simply because, these four Zealots could easily end the game. 
um, by killing a few drones here, then running up and killing a lot of drones here. Sunken Colony being morphed behind the mineral line here, which is a cool defense when you know that Zolids are coming. But again, that reaction was a little bit late. I do think they fixed that. Ah, getting, gonna get two overlords though with these dragoons. It's very unfortunate. Well, this is another little problem. The Overmind was waiting to move its overlords out of its opponent's base until it saw anti-air units. But as you can see, seeing anti-air units is often too late. You often want to move out, for example, when the cybernetics core finishes or when it's when it's been done for a few seconds or something like that. There's another little problem identified in this game. Getting Dragoon range and making Dragoons out of three gateways. A little bit gas heavy. We're gonna have to see if he has some plans for spending that gas. Oh, and he does. He's putting down a forge to get a plus one attack upgrade is my best guess. Overmind has removed drones from gas, has the lair up, but is not getting a spire. Oh, and making an overlord. Um, yeah, it should have been making two overlords. This, you should have a bit of a problem with this. And interesting thing here, the right move right now should be to put down the Spire, but if I remember correctly, there was a bug here where the Overmind would not put down a Spire if it was supply blocked. So we are not going to see a Spire for a little while. Meantime, Forge has completed, plus one attack is starting, and more Dragoons coming out of three gateways. More pylons going down. And will these Dragoons be enough to stop the initial force of Mutalisks? I think they will do just fine. But that initial force of Mutalisks still being delayed. Spire finally going down. Another Overlord on the way. Pulling drones off of gas because minerals have gotten quite low. Good move. And a third hatchery going down. So really similar elements to what we've seen in the other games. Timings changing from game to game, but we're seeing three sunken colonies uh, and a spire and a third hatchery and both gases and a lot of drones. So quite quite similar plan from the Overmind versus uh, Protoss and versus Terran and just in general, <laughs> almost always does the same thing. Two Photon Cannons down, four X-Terms, who knows that Mutalisks are coming because he has played the Overmind, but does not know when they are coming because the Spire was delayed. Almost done, though, and when it finishes, that is when the excitement is going to happen. So far, nothing has, nothing special has come out of the Overmind, but we're going to see some really <laughs> um, amazing things. And it, of course, of course, a lot of special things have come out. Oh, nice trapping the Zealot there. I don't mean to belittle all of the work that went into making a bot that could play this well so far into the game. That's a huge thing. I just mean for you spectators, the exciting moment is going to come when those Mutalisks are out and they are just on their way right now. And it's we're going to have to see what does a human being do in response to sort of non-stop harass. Looks like Xterm's thinking about taking an expansion pretty soon, having gotten a pretty gigantic critical number of Dragoons up, and the Mutalisks are out on the way, not even bothering to stack those together, just kind of flittering about the map, which is pretty great. It gives you tremendous map vision. Look, this Dragoon sitting out on its own gets picked out a little bit. And here, wide open probe line. He's going to shoot at some of these probes here. I think Overmind was getting confused a little bit here because they're going back into the gas, so he didn't actually manage to kill any of them. Had some trouble there. I'm going to keep flying around and look at how aware the Overmind is of the threat perimeter of these units, staying right outside of where Dragoons might be poking around just a little bit and gonna move in here. Doesn't see anything and is going to just keep looking for good targets. Another cannon going down here. Smart placement of that. This was a big weak point. Those guys in the gas, very exposed. And I think one of the reasons Overmind is not being very aggressive with these Mutalisks right now is there are just not very many of them at the moment, but that will change over time. Whole bunch of them flocking around here. And slowly collecting together just circling their prey. In the meantime, look at this. Third base going up in the upper left. 
great. Moving out over this base, and are they going to spot any juicy targets? Not yet. Oh, two Dragoons out on their own in the middle. Immediately spots those and takes them down. Absolutely, absolutely brutal. Might even go after this Dragoon. Okay, well, they've tasted blood now. Certainly, they have to go after something now. Could pick off this gas, possibly. I'm nope, going to just keep poking around. And like I said, this is scary because these Mutalisk numbers just keep going up. Uh, now, we're going to see a big push out with Dragoons. And we've seen that these Mutalisks are pretty scared of Dragoons. And rightly so. But... Well, we'll have to see if it's like the reaction to Goliaths, where they do end up moving a little bit too far into range and being a little indecisive. Oh, they're coming around to the side. You know, just kind of looking for any weak spot, just kind of waiting, letting these numbers build up. Plus one Carapace upgrade, almost done, just now finished. This will allow them to be even more brave, because they are... I. I think that the Overmind takes into account upgrades and calculating threat and that sort of thing. So, this Mutalisk's much stronger now. Oh, free Zealot. I'm going to kill that Zealot. Very good at picking off units. x is doing a great job at clumping his units, which will prevent the Mutalisks from being able to engage with just a few of them at once. And here, oh, they are getting a bit bold. Are trying to pick off that one on the edge, and see, that was not a good move. Losing two Mutalisks in the process. This third base up and running, by the way. Continuing to have quite perfect macro. Big push coming out with the Dragoons. Mutalisks taking...